Looking for answers in this world A search for something more than just made it real Can we find peace in our hearts And heal the wounds that tear us apart Spirituality is society Spirituality is society Seeking for meaning in a world of confusion Searching for purpose in a society of illusion Spirituality is society A quest for release Searching for meaning in a world of chaos Seeking enlightenment, a path to follow Embracing the unknown, finding inner peace Spirituality and society, a quest for release Thank you for joining us on Spirituality and Society Brought to you by APM, Assembly of People in Mission Our vision is to love Yahweh, God, and all people our mission is to prioritize seeking Yahweh God's kingdom above all things. Let's get started. The concept of the Antichrist is primarily associated with the New Testament, particularly in the writings of the Apostle John. Here are some key scriptures that discuss the Antichrist or related themes. 1, 1 John 2 colon 18 22 asterisk children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. Therefore we know that it is the last hour. 2, 1 John 4 colon 3 asterisk and every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and now is in the world already. 3, 2 John 1 colon 7 asterisk for many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not confess the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh. Such a one is the deceiver and the antichrist. For Revelation 13 colon 1 dash 10 asterisk this passage in the book of Revelation describes a beast that is often associated with the antichrist. 5, 2 Thessalonians 2 colon 3 dash 4 asterisk let no one deceive you in any way. For that day will not come, unless the rebellion comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction, who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called god or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. 6. Matthew 24 colon 24 asterisk for false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. 7. Daniel 7 colon 25 asterisk He shall speak words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and shall think to change the times and the law, and they shall be given into his hand for a time, times, and half a time. It's important to note that interpretations of these passages vary among different Christian denominations and scholars. The concept of the Antichrist is often associated with a figure who opposes Christ and works against the kingdom of God. Some see it as a singular figure, while others interpret it as a symbol of the collective forces of evil. Shalom! Did you know that the Antichrists are among us? Ladies and gentlemen, today we dive into the powerful words of the Apostle John as he addresses a topic that has intrigued and concerned believers for centuries. In 1 John chapter 2 from verses 18 to 22, we find a profound exploration of antichrists. Let's discover the truths hidden within these verses and draw essential lessons for our faith journey. The topic of our study is antichrists among us. We will explore the apparition or the arrival of antichrists I am the context of 1 John chapter 2 verse 18, the rejection or the denial of Jesus I am the context of 1 John chapter 2 verse 22 and the deception of the ultimate truth I am the context of 1 John chapter 2 verses 21 and 22, so that you must understand and be aware of the Antichrists among us. The Apparition or the Arrival of Antichrists I am the context of 1 John 2 verse 18. An apparition refers to a supernatural or extraordinary appearance, often of a ghostly or spiritual nature. It can be an unexpected and typically brief sighting of something that may not have a physical presence in the natural world. Apparitions are commonly associated with the paranormal, religious experiences, and folklore. 
They have been reported in various cultures and traditions, with interpretations ranging from ghostly encounters to divine manifestations. Apparitions are a topic of interest in the fields of paranormal research, theology, and the study of human experiences beyond the ordinary. In the context of 1 John 2 verse 18, we are focusing on the arrival of Antichrists. This verse discusses the appearance of individuals who oppose the teachings of Christ and work against the faith of believers. It does not pertain to supernatural or paranormal apparitions but rather addresses a spiritual and theological topic. 1 John 2 verse 18, Nevi, states, Dear children, this is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. In this passage, the Apostle John is warning the early Christian community that they are living in the last hour or the final days before the return of Christ. He acknowledges that they have heard about the coming of the ultimate Antichrist, a figure who will oppose Christ and deceive many. However, he emphasizes that even in his time, there were already many Antichrists who were acting against the teachings of Jesus. The focus here is on the rise of those who deny Christ and work to lead believers away from the true faith. It's a call to be discerning and vigilant against those who would distort the message of Christ. It is not related to supernatural apparitions but rather addresses the spiritual and doctrinal challenges faced by the early Christian community. The Arrival of Antichrists, 1 John 2 verse 18 Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. Therefore we know that it is the last hour. Illustration, imagine you're on a ship sailing towards your dream destination, but the waters grow treacherous. You hear warnings about a colossal storm, but suddenly, small whirlwinds appear all around, creating chaos and confusion. Application, John's message is clear, even as we await the ultimate Antichrist, many Antichrists have already appeared. These are those who oppose the teachings of Christ. It is indeed the last hour, and we must discern and guard our faith against the smaller storms of deception. The Rejection or the Denial of Jesus I am the Context of 1 John chapter 2 verse 22 Rejection is the act of refusing or declining something or someone. It involves dismissing, turning down, or refusing acceptance, often due to various reasons or factors. Rejection can occur in many aspects of life, including personal relationships, job applications, social situations, and creative endeavors. It can be a painful and challenging experience, often leading to feelings of disappointment, hurt, or inadequacy. However, rejection can also be a part of personal growth and development, teaching individuals resilience, adaptability, and the opportunity to learn from setbacks. I in the context of 1 John 2 verse 22, we are examining the denial of Jesus as a form of rejection of his identity. This verse highlights the seriousness of denying that Jesus is the Christ and its implications for one's faith and relationship with God. 1 John 2 verse 22, NIV, states, Who is the liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist denying the Father and the Son. In this passage, the Apostle John addresses those who deny that Jesus is the Christ, meaning they reject or refuse to acknowledge Him as the Messiah or Savior. John characterizes such denial as an act of falsehood, and he goes as far as to label those who deny Jesus as Antichrists. These individuals, by denying Jesus, are effectively denying both the Father, God, and the Son, Jesus. The focus here is on the rejection of Jesus as the promised Messiah, which has serious theological and spiritual consequences. It's a strong statement emphasizing the importance of recognizing Jesus as the Christ and, by extension, the Son of God. John's message underscores the significance of accepting Jesus and his role in our faith making this passage a key point in Christian theology. The Denial of Jesus, 1 John 2 verse 22 Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, he who denies the Father and the Son. Illustration, consider a priceless painting recognized by its signature. Now, imagine someone trying to deface the signature, thereby denying the identity of the artist. 
This denial impacts the true value of the artwork. Application When Antichrists deny the identity of Jesus as the Christ, they deface the very essence of our faith. We must recognize this subtle denial that undermines the foundation of our belief. The deception of the ultimate truth I in the context of 1 John chapter 2 verses 21 and 22. In the context of 1 John 2 verses 21 and 22, we are exploring the concept of deception and its impact on understanding and acknowledging the ultimate truth, which is the identity of Jesus as the Christ and the Son of God. 1 John 2 verses 21 and 22, in IV, states, I do not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you do know it and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist denying the Father and the Son. In these verses, the Apostle John is addressing the readers, assuring them that he is not writing because they lack knowledge of the truth. Instead, he is writing to reinforce and confirm the truth they already know. John emphasizes that truth and lies are incompatible, and he warns against those who deny that Jesus is the Christ, referring to them as antichrists. Denying Jesus as the Christ is seen as a denial of the Father, God, and the Son, Jesus. The focus here is on recognizing and upholding the ultimate truth that Jesus is the Christ, the promised Savior. Deception arises when individuals deny this truth, and John is urging believers to guard against such deception and remain rooted in the fundamental truth of the Christian faith. This passage underscores the importance of acknowledging Jesus as the ultimate truth and cornerstone of the Christian belief system. The Ultimate Truth, 1 John 2 verses 21 and 22 I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and because no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, he who denies the Father and the Son. Illustration, think of a skilled jeweler who can effortlessly distinguish between a genuine gem and a counterfeit stone. Their expertise is rooted in understanding the unique characteristics of precious jewels. Application, as we confront Antichrists, we must hold firm to the ultimate truth, Jesus is the Christ, the Savior, and the Son of God. Any denial of this fact is rooted in deception. First John 2 verses 18 to 22 is a passage in the New Testament that has been interpreted in various ways by different schools of biblical interpretation. Here are preterist, historicist, futurist, idealist, and integrated interpretations of this passage. 1. Preterist Interpretation The preterist interpretation views this passage as primarily referring to events that were fulfilled in the past. In this view, the antichrists mentioned by John are seen as false teachers or individuals who oppose the early Christian community. These false teachers may have claimed to be the Messiah or denied the divinity of Jesus. John is warning his readers that such individuals were already present in his time. The last hour is understood to be the period leading up to the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, when false messiahs and false prophets emerged, as predicted by Jesus in Matthew 24. 2. Historicist Interpretation the historicist interpretation sees 1 John 2 verses 18-22 as a description of a historical progression of events throughout the entire church age. The Antichrists are seen as representative of various heretical movements or individuals that have arisen in the history of the Christian church. The last hour is understood as a prolonged period of time spanning from the apostolic age to the return of Christ, with multiple Antichrist figures appearing at different points in history. 3. Futurist Interpretation In the Futurist Interpretation, 1 John 2 verses 18-22 is viewed as a prophecy of future events that will take place at the end of the age. The Antichrist in this view is often seen as a single, powerful, and evil world leader who will arise in the end times, often associated with the eschatological events described in the book of Revelation. The last hour is understood as a specific period leading up to the second coming of Christ. For Idealist Interpretation 
The idealist interpretation takes a symbolic or allegorical approach to 1 John 2 verses 18 to 22. In this view, the passage is seen as a timeless message about the ongoing struggle between the truth of the gospel and various forms of falsehood and deception. The Antichrists represent not specific individuals or historical events, but rather the perennial presence of false teachings and opposition to Christ throughout history. The last hour is understood as the entire age in which the Church contends with these spiritual challenges. 5. Integrated Interpretation An integrated interpretation seeks to incorporate elements from multiple approaches. It recognizes that the passage may have had some relevance to John's immediate audience, preterist, contains principles applicable throughout church history, idealist, may find fulfillment in future eschatological events, futurist, and could have recurring patterns of false teaching, historicist. This interpretation acknowledges the complexity of the text and seeks to draw from various aspects of the other approaches. Different Christians and scholars may hold to one of these interpretations or a combination of them, depending on their theological perspective and approach to the biblical text. The diversity of interpretations adds depth and richness to the study of Scripture. The interpretations of 1 John 2 verses 18 to 22 have various applications in the context of Christian theology and practice. Here are some of the key applications associated with each interpretation. 1. Preterist Applications Historical Understanding Preterist interpretations help believers understand the historical context in which the New Testament was written and the challenges faced by the early Christian community. Vigilance against false teachings, it emphasizes the importance of remaining vigilant against false teachings and deceptive individuals, both in the past and in the present. Recognition of the fulfillment of prophecy, preterist views highlight the fulfillment of Jesus' prophecies concerning false messiahs and false prophets before the destruction of Jerusalem. 2. Historicist Applications Lessons from Church History Historicist interpretations encourage believers to study and learn from the history of the Christian Church, including its struggles with heresies and false teachings. Awareness of Recurrent Challenges this perspective highlights the cyclical nature of challenges to the Christian faith and the need for discernment across different eras of church history. 3. Futurist Applications Eschatological Awareness Futurist interpretations foster a sense of eschatological expectancy, prompting believers to anticipate the future coming of the Antichrist and the return of Christ. Preparation for End Times Believers are encouraged to prepare for the challenges of the last days, staying faithful to Christ amidst potential tribulations. For Idealist Applications Spiritual Discernment The idealist view underscores the ongoing spiritual battle between truth and deception, encouraging believers to develop strong discernment to recognize and combat falsehood. Timeless Relevance It emphasizes that the message of 1 John remains relevant across all time periods and that the struggle against deception is a universal Christian experience. 5. Integrated Applications Comprehensive Understanding An integrated approach allows for a more comprehensive understanding of the passage, incorporating elements from different interpretive methods to address the complexity of the text. Nuanced Perspective It offers a nuanced perspective that recognizes the historical, spiritual, and future dimensions of the message in 1 John 2 verses 18 to 22. In practice, these interpretations inform how Christians view and respond to false teachings, maintain vigilance in their faith, and stay prepared for potential eschatological events. The choice of interpretation often depends on one's theological framework and perspective on the nature of prophecy and scripture. Always remember, when we look at 1 John 2 verses 18 to 22 in the Bible, it can be understood in different ways, and each interpretation has some valuable lessons for us. First, there's the preterist view. It tells us about the challenges faced by early Christians and warns us to be watchful against false teachings even today. It reminds us that there were false leaders even back in the day. Then, the historicist view sees a long history of false teachings and heresies in the Church. This teaches us to study the history of the Church and learn from its struggles. Now, some folks take a futurist approach. 
They believe these verses are a prophecy of future events, like a powerful evil leader appearing at the end of times. This view encourages us to be ready for future challenges and the return of Christ. The idealist view looks at these verses symbolically. It highlights the ongoing battle between truth and falsehood, urging us to be spiritually discerning and understand that these verses apply throughout history. And lastly, the integrated view combines elements from all these interpretations to give us a more comprehensive understanding of the passage, emphasizing the need for discernment and readiness in different aspects of our Christian journey. So, no matter which interpretation you lean towards, the message is clear, be aware of false teachings, stay strong in your faith, and be ready for whatever challenges may come, whether in the past, present, or future. It's all about staying true to your faith in Christ and being vigilant in the face of deception. Conclusion In the midst of the last hour, we find ourselves surrounded by antichrists, both small and large. But we are not defenseless. We are anointed by the Holy One, equipped with knowledge, and rooted in the ultimate truth. Let us be vigilant in discerning deception, upholding the identity of Jesus, and standing firm in our faith, for we are children of the light in this last hour of challenge and triumph. As we conclude this episode of Spirituality in Society, we acknowledge and celebrate your commitment to seeking first Yahweh, God's kingdom, and His righteousness. May Yahweh's blessings be upon you now and always. Amen. Looking for answers in this world A search for something more than just made of your Can we find peace in our hearts And heal the wounds that tear us apart Spirituality is society Spirituality is society Seeking for meaning in a world of confusion Searching for purpose in a society of illusion Spirituality is society A quest for release Searching for meaning in a world of chaos Seeking enlightenment, a path to follow Embracing the unknown, finding inner peace Spirituality and society, a quest for release